Hey guys, Scifig back again with another quick pickups video. Went down to Frank and Sons on Wednesday and uh, decided to pick up a few things. Uh, decided to m try to start collecting uh, every single uh, Sega Master System card game. So went down there to see if they had any ones that I didn't have and uh, picked up... Uh, F-16 Fighting Falcon and I uh, got this for four bucks at the Video Game Bros and it is in pristine condition like all their stuff there usually is can't even open it up because it's so tight but I mean it's like perfect uh, everything the sleeve, the game it's like if it was never t t played and stuff uh, so I decided to pick that up. So, it's F-16 Fighting Falcon. And while I was there, I decided to pick up... Uh, like the Altered Beast. Uh, the price was decent, 10 bucks. But once again, it's, like I said, it's in pristine condition. Uh, it's like if, like if it was just straight off the shelf from back in, you know, 1990 or whatever. The game is in great shape, and I've seen them for about ten bucks on eBay. And plus shipping, they're like thirteen, fourteen bucks, so a uh, pretty good price. And while I was there, uh, some new vendor was selling a bunch of Sega stuff, and he had this stack of Sega CD games for twenty bucks. Now, uh, there's some uh, not the greatest titles ever, but. Uh, it was like you know, 20 bucks and, you know, topped the guy out. And, um, what I've got. All the games are in pretty good shape. Uh, it's Jeopardy. Open her up. And all the CDs were in great condition. Hardly any scratches. Manual and everything. So, got that. And Sherlock Holmes 2, volume number 2, it's the uh, cardboard box version, and uh, it comes with manual and everything inside, in great shape. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Wheel of Fortune. Check that out. And we got a uh, flashback. And what else is in here? Official Dungeons and Dragons uh, Eye of the Beholder. It's an intense fantasy role playing adventure game. And this is also in. Got the styrofoam game is like new, um, and uh, it's got the manual and uh, a, I think it had like an extra manual in there or something. Pretty cool. Let's see what else is in here. Now this one looked like it would have been cool. It says Dark Wizard. Um, looks like some kind of cool. RPG type game, but unfortunately it was a uh, double switch. So I got double switched on this one. <laughs> no, but that's what's in there. Um, some EA Sports Tournament catalog. I'm not sure what that's from. Uh, EA Sports Soccer. Uh, Trivial Pursuit. And last but not least, uh, Sewer Shark. And all those Sega CD games were just 20 bucks. Uh, decent deal. Not much of a deal, but uh, so I got all these games for 20 bucks. Got the Altered Beast and the F-16 Fighting Falcon for four, you know, 10 bucks for four bucks. 
And while I was leaving, I stopped at another booth, and they had this. Uh, Sega Saturn, uh, the 3D pad, in this weird packaging that I've never seen in the U.S. Um, it's new. Uh, it's never been used. The box is in decent condition. And um, it's funny. It's kind of a coincidence, but uh, came home, went on YouTube, and uh, saw that the some dude on there had just bought a Sega Saturn, posted a video on it, I think some dude from Europe or something, and his Sega Saturn had the same packaging. So it made me kind of like look around, and then that's when I saw here that this must be a imported one from Europe or something. Uh, so that's probably, this is probably the European packaging, which is kind of cool. So, so I got this for 10 bucks, and uh, like I said, it's never been used. Wrapper. Uh, you know, everything's still uh, tied up in there, manual and all that stuff. So, pretty cool. So, yeah, decent pickups. I said 20 bucks. 14 bucks, 10 bucks. Um, at Frank and Sons. If you guys have never been there, it's a pretty cool spot if you're into like, you know, collecting toys and stuff like that, and video games. A couple of good booths there and stuff like that. But uh, or if you're into all that magic stuff, there's a bunch of booths selling the magic cards and all that crazy madness. But uh, yeah, some more pickups. Seems to have been running into a lot of Sega CD stuff lately. So. Um, until the next video, uh, I'll check you guys later. Once again, Cyphic signing out, keeping Retro alive. Take care, guys. Lights.